I'm in the video now. You're in the video now. Yes, yes. <laughs> What's your name, man? My name is Rami. Ted. Rami. Uh, Jesus, I'm going to say it I was uh, about to uh, shake your... Uh, oh, that. I, I, I <laughs> So that's very interesting. You don't necessarily need a guide to come to Algeria. But when you do, I guess the police will constantly check. I didn't even know those last guys were the police. I thought they were just his friends. And that's the monument of the martyrs. Is that... It was built in the memory of those who died during World War One. Okay, for, okay, World War One. Yes, but Algerians did not, you know, participate, like, voluntarily. They were forced... By the by Ottomans? France. Oh, by France. Yes. I mean, it ended in 1980, but it yeah. was built in 1934. It's interesting because, like in the U.S., there's very little recognition of World War One, yes. and in a lot of countries, it's like the forgotten, the forgotten war. Yeah, because the one that came out after, after was so it. massive. Yes, beautiful World War One statue or monument. Well, that inspired from, you know, the Arch of uh, Triumph in Paris. Well, here you find the name. French, Italian, Jews, and Algerian, yes. all with Algerian you citizenship? See, you see? Here. You see? Jack. Jack. Ragazzi e Bonaventura. Yeah, Italian. That's Italian. Uh -huh. You see? But if you take this, Dre. Gabriel. Gabriel. That's Jew. This, for example, Zerbib. Or, let's say, Zemur, Gaston, Gaston, or Isaac. This is Jewish as well. Uh huh. Now, are there still Jews in Algeria, or...? Actually, those who remained after independence, the fewest minority that remained, uh -huh. they kind of, you know, became Algerian Algerians, and they converted yeah. into okay. Islam. You see, to commemorate all the martyrs who are originally from Algeria, the victims of this conflict. And here you get the campus, which is quite famous. It's a very old campus that is almost a hundred years old with a beautiful view all over the city. Ah. You can see the year 1936. Yep. And here you have the elevation, the altitude of Constantine, which is almost 700 meters above sea level. That's the elevation of Constantine. And then you got the four directions, east, west, north, south. Mm -hmm. And what are these over here? These are some directions if you know. If you want to go. Districts. Yeah, districts. Yes. Districts, and okay. we've got also cities. Okay. So, in red, these would be cities. Sardines. And what are sardines? Black cities. Oh, cities. Yes. My mistake. Cities. Uh -huh. And in red, in black, they would be districts, you see. Okay. Wow. Stunning tribute. Yes. And then you got the new expansion of the city in the post-independence mm -hmm. era. You got all these buildings. Uh. This for 
rebuilt after 1962. Because Algeria got its independence from France and in the 5th of, the yeah. ju of July, 1962. Oh, is this an old money? Yes, it's old money. This is one dinner. You see, that's one dinner. And that's half a dinner, you see. Sour. Money from all over the world, you can see. Ah. Love collecting different types of money. Folks, Tunisia. Tunisia. Egypt. Egypt. Oh, uh, Not Syria as well. Yeah, I might have to buy that. Where do Vrip Sasa Libya? Ah, Bray. Ah, Baba. Oh, Lydia. And the King Gulkir. Kun Man. Iraq. That's where I'm going next. That's my next country I gotta. Really? On this trip. Yeah. I have a tour guide there. So I'll do one Iraq and one Syria. How did you get that? I'm not sure. Shukran, my friend. Shukran. Have fun. Have fun. Have fun. Welcome to, to Algeria. Thank you. I'll be a huge kebab. Most dangerous shot for me to be at. Why? Is it because you end up on the bills? Well, I, I, as I said, I could have spent all day there and I probably would have bought half his book just going through being like, oh! Can't get that! <laughs> That's what happens to me when I go to, when I get to, you know, an antique old bookstore. Ah. I always end up buying like 15 to 20 books. Yeah. So we've got the so cigarettes pack. The cigarette pack. Then this one's a lighter. Yes, and when we cross the road, we're gonna see the ashtray. All right, and I, we're okay, about to cross the road, and we're seeing an ashtray apparently. Actually, I never knew that until you know 2020 when I was passing across the road, mm -hmm. and my ankle knew it was like, do you know what's that? It looks like an old. Come on, he said you've been 20, living for 23 years, and yeah. you don't know that. He said that's a cigarette pack. That's a lighter, and that's an ashtray. <laughs> and believe me, the moment I realized what was that, I was mind blown. <laughs> okay, and that's the ashtray. That one's an ashtray? Yes. It's <laughs> hysterical. That's great. So there's the ashtray. The architects must have been a great smoker. <laughs> One of the wonderful, you know, points to have a panoramic view. Yeah. That's close to that. So the two dangers I have found in Algeria is that I'm gonna overeat and crossing the road. So far, those are the only two dangers, I think. Oh, wow. That's beautiful. So guys, we're at a pool hall. And you're about to see the greatest defeat America's taken since Vietnam. He's invited his buddy, who used to win championships in tournaments. And he said, take it easy on me, I'm a beginner. I'm getting hustled again like I did in Saudi.
unfortunate turn of events. He now has two coaches. I get no coach. These coaches are even setting the ball. Look at that. Oh, he's even taking over. Oh boy. Cheat!